That will mean that we're gonna get that it was just right in time, that it was all correct. That was the nice. Hi guys, my name is Anna. I hope you all know that it's video on my channel name, of course, but I am right here for trading. We're gonna test strategies, we're gonna see how it is working, how it actually is not working. We're gonna see the results, we're gonna learn something, we're gonna test, we're gonna talk, we're gonna just trade it. And let's see, oh, let's dive. And that's the start. That's gonna be one minute. And that's the trading turbo for us. And um, right here is gonna be the indicator that's gonna be picking up. Um, headaches. I don't know if sometimes I'm just thinking, you know, about these indicators as about the same persons. For sure, such as stochastic oscillator. MACD, they are like the favorites, you know, the most popular, you know, like the, just the most popular person in the school, you know, it's going to be just the queen of the prom or the king of the prom. And some indicators are like outsiders, kind of losers. And that's a little bit interesting to think because I think that's just the general rule, you know, these people's societies of all that we actually can create because definitely this, you know, these platforms and I don't know, the people, they actually created that indicators. They know that some indicators are not that useful or maybe not so popular, but they never modify it. They never delete it. They never try and to make it better or something like that. You know, just it's massive, massive. I know that's like, it's kind of prescribed. This is the basis that actually this indicator based on such rules or like math analysis or anything. But I think it's not only in my world, some of them are kind of favorites and some of them I kind of, I'm gonna hate it. <laughs> but just went a little bit philosophic and that's maybe a little bit too much in that case. Let's see how all this kings and queens gonna be working for us today. And never forget, the market is a real guy. Gotta get it right here. Look at the ADX, the lines we just crossed. So we do expect that's gonna be the change in the millions line kinda, kinda at the bottom. So we do expect still it may break, it of course may maintain and still be right here. But I think that's gonna be the change and we need to follow the pattern. Now when the fractal gave us the dot, Okay, that's ended. Let's see. That was easy. That was nice. Even with that, maybe not that drastic, drastic jumping with this orange candle inside. That was the nice. We just, with this estimated level, perfectly perfect. This is the end. We gotta get up for it. How about this one? I must say that's a little bit, a little bit weird with the Williams, um, that the line actually kind of flat, but we may see some drastic falling on the chart. But with all these lines indicator, don't forget the thing. Uh, it doesn't mean the same level. It means if it is the line of it located on its own chart, kind of below and at the bottom, and flat or straight or any, any way you call it, that's when we're getting downward. It's just that downward and you may see with the chart we kind of at the bottom of the bottom um, just comparing the previous I don't know not that long time if you're going to be checking this chart you know for long long tendencies I mean you're going to be just zooming it's a little bit too much for one minute interval if you trade for maybe five ten minutes of course you need to see the massive the bigger picture and that's fine that's absolutely correct but we, when we talk about one minute of course we just need the small part of um, of the chart and I've been actually commenting and asking why are you are not showing your own telling, not showing that picture, the full picture, because it's too much. You don't need that. If you're gonna be just jumping and switching into it, checking and trying to analyze what that being too big time with too 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 big picture, that's gonna be distracting and that's it. Me by <laughs> been actually teaching and um, being so naughty girl, 
and explaining and giving you like you know how you need to live and uh, just ignoring how actually I got this previous profit that it was a little bit harsh but anyway you've been listening and watching so you can actually analyze the situation by yourself because it stopped being um, you know already teacher I made my bed for the upward one right here uh, just because definitely the pattern, but the pattern with the plateau, that's important. So we can actually be repeating that again, but we may not. But never forget about that. ADX lines were crossed. Williams now showing we're going to get upward. Fractal still didn't give us that it's going to be the end. Oh, now it is. That was the end of that chain, and we are just proceeding to the next one. And here, I think safely, we need to get it as a profit. Yep, we already caught the beginning on the second tendency of getting downward. But with this estimated level just at the bottom, oh my god, that was in time. We were safe. <laughs> um... The thing is, that question of the ADX actually that is actually complicated because we may went downward after that type so we are at the bottom but Williams doesn't show that so that means the chart is not that low as we do expect you don't need to check the chart you can see it on the Williams for example such type of indicators because with the ADX you cannot understand what's going on but my expectation was that it's still going to be rising. Uh, it's, it wouldn't be short one. It wouldn't be the long one. Just because all the tendencies before were actually long tendencies. And the massive tendency is going to be just like that. I don't like that I have three bats. Even with this tiny distance between these estimated levels. That's, you know, sometimes risky. And I don't like that the fractal so rapidly reacting okay your expectations are gone you expect just and that that's weird that was just right in time that it was all correct and all that crossing of the line were actually i think the end of the downward and the beginning of the upward again that's easy that's easy with the williams with the chart and I think somewhere right here, the fractal should give us that this downward trend is standard. ADX is a little bit like, maybe it's going to be crossing just now. And that, that will mean that we're going to get, uh, that's why it's not crossing. <laughs> maybe that's still the end of this downward trend. I don't know. But that would be nice that it's this moment we could have also the ADX lines all crossed. And that's it. Let's see how it's gonna be. Now the fractal, now the lines of the ADX. It is now trying to cross. But actually, I think if they're gonna be crossing just right now, it may <laughs> give us the opposite turn. But that was all safe. We're just done. We're just done with that. We're just done with that strategy. Um, that nice one. I think I had no bad emotion, no bad comments about that indicator. It's been just working. Yep, some situation been tempting. Some indicators and the signs from it were a little bit like, I need to think about that. But that's, I don't know, that's the positive feedback from the strategy and the trading. Because sometimes you end the strategy just like, I don't need that indicator inside of here. It is not working. It is just misleading me. That's more negative results, even when you have your profit. So you need just to modify the strategy and have it just like here. Okay, that was tempting, but that was working. Okay.